please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Morgan Anderson. And I'm Megan Fee. Coming up on today's show, we'll let you know about all the awesome activities that International Week is bringing to GHS. Also, we've got another edition for, of Snacking with Santo just for you. So let's go ahead and get it started. GTV News starts, starts right, right now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for February, February 21st, 2018. There is a boys' tennis meeting tomorrow right after school in J230. If you're interested in trying out for tennis this spring, make sure to attend the meeting, and if you cannot attend, please see Coach Evans. If any students are interested in joining the Ambassador Club, they have a meeting right after school in A100. This is a great club that helps to represent our school, so make sure to stop by and see Mrs. Menarchy or Mrs. Scola with any questions. Our girls track team had their first indoor meet of the season this past weekend. Some top performers are Vivi Mayron and Taryn Christie in the pole vault, Hannah Broden in the shot put, and Andrina, Andrina Larson in the 1600 meter run. They will be competing again tomorrow against Glenbard East. Great job and good luck girls. Attention any girls interested in playing softball this spring. If you have not already picked up a calendar with all the times and dates for the season, please see Coach Dirks and get one today. You can get one in KK266 after school. Also, make sure you are interested and have a current make sure you are registered and have a current physical on file before tryouts begin on February 26th. International Week is off to a great start, and you know, Meg, I really loved hearing the music in, playing in the halls yesterday during the passing periods. Yeah, Mo, that was definitely a great addition to get students pumped for this awesome week, but there's still more fun activities on the way. That's right, and G GTV reporter Jacob Miller has a, span has a few Spanish students in studio to let us know more about International Week activities. Jacob? Thanks, guys. So I'm here with three Spanish students that are going to talk about Immersion Week. So, Bobby, what does Immersion Week mean to you? Yeah, I mean, Immersion Week is uh, one of the things I look forward to every year. You get to try things uh, you might not have tried before, stuff from German. You get to learn about different cultures. It's really a fun experience for everyone. Awesome. And I know we have a lot of events that are going on throughout the week, so can you just uh, give a couple examples of those? Uh, there's uh, Latin dancing, and you can make crepes, and a bunch more activities down in Jay Hallway. Awesome. And so what do you hope that the Geneva students gain from this week? Uh, well, we just kind of want the Geneva students to have a little bit more cultural diversity within the school. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming down, guys. Back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Seems like International Week is off to a great start. So like we said before today, you should be seeing tons of students and teachers showing off their Teach Peace and Foreign Language t-shirts. And then, of course, like the guys mentioned, tomorrow will be the first day of Immersion Day in the J Hallway. Then International Week will come to a close on Friday with a panel of young adults, including GHS alumni, discussing their experiences with foreign language, languages. International Week is packed with events, so have a fun, have fun time this week. Any sophomores or juniors are, that are interested in applying to the National English Honor Society should pick up an application in the main office or room KK268. All English 1 and English 2 classes should have should also have available applications. See Ms. Lukey, <clears throat> see Ms. Lukey in KK268 if you have any questions. Seniors that are planning on majoring in elementary or secondary education should log on to Naviance for any additional information on the GEA Beth Shannon Education Scholarship. The deadline for the scholarship is March 1st. So, Mo, last week I was getting gas just down the road at that BP station and I noticed Urban Counter, a little spot I'd never seen before. That's right, Meg. Santo took a trip down State Street to check out this tasty spot. So let's take a look. Okay, just got back from the girls' basketball game. Awesome win. Sectional um, championship. 
tomorrow night. Uh, make sure you sign up for the Fan Bus. Take advantage of it. We're giving you a free ride to the game. Um, great venue. Bring a huge crowd. We had the huge crowd tonight. Really helped us with the win. On the way home, uh, daughter and I decided to stop at Urban Counter, which is right next to the BP. I know it's technically St. Charles, but it's close enough to Geneva. I got this Korean burger. Things are made super fresh there. Um, this has egg on it, Korean sauce, all sorts of good stuff. I'll let you see it. Um, that's what the burger looks like. Also got sweet potato fries. Uh, good selection there. Fairly cheap, only six fifty for this burger. So huge burger for six dollars fifty cents. Uh, you might hear my dog in the background, but uh, ignore him. I try to at times. All right, here we go. Uh, let's take one bite. Okay, there is stuff all over my face, my hands, um, everywhere. Um, now my shirt. So, tons of flavor on this burger. It's in some sort of Korean sauce as well. Um, burger is cooked perfectly. Egg is extra runny. Um, I love having eggs on my burger. Um, so, I'm going to give this a really good score. It has onion on it too. Good score. Uh, I know you're thinking like in the 70s for this one. I'm going to go a little higher on this. This is like an 80... 1% burger. This is a really good hamburger. For the price of $6.50 uh, for a hamburger, great value. Urban Counter, next to the BP. I never would have thought I would have loved a burger um, out of the, a place next to a gas station, but it's really good. Uh, check them out. Go uh, hit it up. Don't forget, sign up for the Fan Bus tomorrow uh, all the way to Lake Park. Uh, we will see you on Friday with another burger. Thanks, Santo. Keep an eye out for more snacking later this week. Now, as we continue with CTE month, keep an eye out for Ask Me signs in your classroom or around the halls. The GHS staff members have filled out Ask Me signs to advertise their professional knowledge and talents in hopes to spark a career conversation with students. Let's continue to have a great CTE week. A reminder to all freshmen, you have a mandatory PLC tomorrow in the auditorium. You must bring your, your student ID for attendance purposes. And now here's 3 to know before we go. Huge congrats to the girls varsity basketball team who won last night against Wheaton North. They will be playing in the sectional final at Lake Park on Thursday. And just another reminder to freshmen that you have a mandatory PLC tomorrow in the auditorium. And if you haven't gotten enough of our ballers this week, come on out to St. Charles East tonight to see the boys at 7 o'clock. Last game was so exciting with triple overtime, so it's definitely going to be a great game. Be sure to come out and support. Well, Geneva, that looks like all the news we have for you today. I'm Morgan Anderson. And I'm Megan Fee. Have a great day, Geneva, and go Vikings.